Hey guys, it's Kay Jones here and I'm going to be doing a guide on Armadil. I'm currently 150 something KC and I'm going to show you how I do Armadil, how I learned, and all the little things in between that a lot of people in videos don't mention that I think is really important. So first we're going to start with the gear setup. Okay guys, so here's the setup I have. I um, always do Armadil on task, a Navy ANSI's task, which you can also pay to extend, which I highly recommend. And here I bring have a Carol's top and bottom, a Dragonfire shield, etc. If you don't have a Dragonfire shield, you can bring a Crystal shield, but then I recommend perhaps even bringing a Varix bottom, a Varix skirt for the defense. Defense is very important. I bring a Amulet of Fury because it has range bonus and defense. Unlike the Anguish, which only has range bonus, I bring a Ring of Suffering because yes, armor hits really hard and you need that defense. Bring diamond bolts. I bring an armor crossbow. However, for my first, I think like 80 kills, I did a rune crossbow, so you can use that. I have a Zami cloak because I need a Zami item to protect from going in. Same with the armadillo item. My accumulator will be in my inventory, but you will need some kind of Zami item and uh, armor item. I bring the Zami cloak because I do blood barrage and such when I hop over. So here is my inventory. As you can see, I have an ecumenical key. Um, getting KC from Arma is awful, so I'd recommend y'all come in with ecumenicals. Here I have a blowpipe to get down the minions. Four brews, or six brews, four restores, five prayer pots, four anglers for emergencies. Of course, we have the bones to peaches, and then tabs and a house teleport along with the ruined pouch with blood barrage spell inside the code i wand i have with the zami cape in order to blood barrage down and uh if you don't have a code i wand you can bring a master's wand or some kind of staff even a trident will work in order to use blood barrage on the minions um next is the mythal grapple to be able to get through the cave uh, to the other side where the armadillo is to 400 chins on my trip I don't suggest in the beginning you bring 400 chins only whenever you start getting um, Advanced and you understand what you do and you don't die bring about a hundred in the beginning Just so you can learn the rhythm and you can understand what's going on So you don't lose a lot of chins because when you die they are gone You don't save any they release and they run away basically the accumulator obviously um, I wear that once I'm in the room and I'm ranging him down and then, uh, yeah, basically that's it. A lot of people was ask why I don't bring a range pot. I don't think it's worth bringing a range pot. I noticed that I get more trips in bringing an extra brew than a range pot because the chins are based more on accuracy than I think damage. So um, that's my opinion. You can always bring a range pot or two if you feel like that helps you more. In my case, after 80 or so kills, I realized it didn't do much of a difference and that Armadillo drops ranging potions and then you can just go ahead and pick them up there. Um, obviously, this is just uh, my opinion on the setup. You can always change this up on what you feel comfortable with. Okay, so now I'm going to show you basically how I get to Armadillo. I don't have a gear on or anything because I did all of my Armadillo kill recordings uh, separate and I forgot to basically show me walking there and all that. But basically, this is how I get there. I do a house teleport. And in my house, I have a Trollheim teleport to the herb patch. This is just my preference. You can bring a scroll or redirection and go directly towards Trollheim. Uh, however, or you can just do like two fire runes, two law runes, drop some food and you know, all that good stuff. But this is how I do it. I just go down here. It's a little bit more of a walk, but to me it's better than having scroll or redirection tabs because I never do nightmare zone. But if you have plenty of those, you can use a scroll or redirection tab on house tabs and then you can redirect um, to Trollheim and then revert the tab to make it back to a home teleport tab and you can google a little bit more about those but this is how I get there I just did that new quest and I just run from here or you can teleport of course to just Trollheim and run down so you're gonna run 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 over here now my my experience is that if you're an Iron Man and you're doing armor at this point, you've probably already done other God of Wars dungeon bosses. But let's go ahead and look here. Here's the Trollheim teleport and you can run down here. Um, I ran, of course, from over here at the herb patch and ran over around here. Um, so since I did the quest, nothing will drain my stats. However, in most cases, it will drain your run and your stats. You need, I believe, 70 strength to push this boulder or 60 something. I think 70 strength to push the boulder or 70... 
uh, agility to go through the crack. You need a rope, of course. My assumption is if you're an Iron Man, you have pretty much already done this because um, Armadillo is pretty a tough boss. Um, my thing about Armadillo is it's not the hardest boss to solo. It is this the hardest boss to learn. Okay, so you're gonna be running south and go straight to this little grapple. Straight south, guys, and you're gonna grapple across. Okay, make sure you're wielding it. There we go, and you'll bring yourself over on the other side. You should be protected with your armadillo item and your zami item. Sorry, my cat's meowing. <laughs> so you're just gonna continue over here. And my recommendation is before you get, go in is always to brew up and restore because having that defensive stat is really important. Um, having your defense up, I would say, is a big deal at armor because you take a lot of damage. Now I'm basically going to commentate a trip of mine and just explain what I'm doing, what's important, and little um, little tricks that a lot of thing, a lot of videos don't mention. Um, and this is directed mainly towards Iron Man. Okay, so I started my trip a little bit later. I'm going to start killing the minions. As you can see, I already took a lot of damage. I forgot to start recording, and I was streaming during this time, so please forgive me for that. Here, I'm just killing off the minions to get ready for the next kill. You always want to kill the major first. And then here, you're going to see me. I'm going to start lining up the minions here. This is how you're going to heal after an armadillo kill. You're going to blood barrage two of the minions together and make sure they're lined up back to back. You're only going to be able to get them lined up like this if you have the melee and another minion. More likely the ranger minion because you're going to kill the, um, the major minion first. It's going to be the ranger minion that you're going to line the melee up with. Um, so here we go, I'm just blood bar barraging these down. Okay, once these are done, as you can see, I'm pretty much going to be at full health, which is really nice. Um, then I start picking up the bones and things like that. This is just prepping for a Kiara, uh, Kriara kill. So please understand that I'm just showing you how to do this because you'll need to be able to do this in between kills. I get um, bones and I make them into peaches and make sure I'm full health full um, prayer, everything like that, and a prayer is a priority. Um, you need to watch that countdown. If you have rune light, it's going to be exactly on point. I think at this point I forgot to put up prayer because I was streaming, I can't remember. But basically I think I get whacked for like a 60 something. Oh no, we're good. Yeah, it was like a 40 right there. So you have to be really on point with your prayer. I just wanted to show that. Um, here is where I'm going to start doing tick manipulation, and I will slow down clips of this. But basically, you're clicking on Flight Kalisa, clicking on Kriar, and back to Flight Kalisa. I misclicked there. It's really tough to get the groove in, but Flight Kalisa first, and then back to Armadillo. But you're not actually attacking Armadillo, so what you're doing is you're clicking Flight Kalisa and then just tick manipulating armadillo and the reason why you're doing this is so armadillo doesn't melee you because the melee attack you're not protecting against and you it will hit probably up to 30s on you and kiara will kriara will continuously do melee attacks so as you can see i'm just doing click on kriara tick manipulation click tick click tick so i'm doing basically a right click on Kalisa, I think it is, and then one uh, uh, left click on Kriar. So I do both. So right click on Kalisa and a left click on Kriara. And then here I'm just going to now range it down with a crossbow. And this is where you can eat. My recommendation is if you eat while doing this, you need to eat, tick back on Armadillo. Eat, eat your food, click back on Armadillo. And the reason why is because if you're not constantly attacking Armadillo, it will melee attack you. So you want to eat, click back, eat, click back. Make sure your character is always pretending like it's basically going to attack the boss. And that way you won't get meleeed. Um, basically, if you sit there and start just chugging brews, it's going to start meleeing you like crazy. You need to eat, hit the boss, eat, hit the boss. And now the melee minion is back up again. And I'm just doing the same thing, going to Kalisa back on Armado. Kalisa back on Armado. Um... The way you set Armadillo in the corner 
is whenever Armadillo pops up, you're going to run to that south, I think it is west corner, and you're going to sit there and do not attack anything. As long as you're not attacking Armadillo, it will try to melee you. So if you're in the corner not attacking Armadillo, it will slowly fly over there with the melee minion, and that's how you set it up. So here I'm going back to the minions, and I'm going to go ahead and skip this part and show you the next kill with Kriara. Okay, another kill is about to, or another um, bird is about to pop up, Armadillo. Uh, as you can see, I'm just picking up the bones. If this is your first time in the room, you're basically going to run south immediately. Just where I am right now, you're going to be chilling out right there. And when Armadillo's out and about, even if he's already on you, don't worry. What's going to happen is exactly this. When you're in the room in that southwest corner, uh, Khaleesi is going to be coming over to you. And don't attack anything because Armadillo is going to come towards you too. As long as you're not attacking Armadillo, Armadillo is going to come to you. Now I'm going to go ahead and slow down this so you can see what I'm doing with the chinning. Okay, watch closely here. I click on Khalifa, click Armadillo. Click on Khalifa click or Kalisa sorry and click on Armadillo so as soon as I throw that chin boom I click Armadillo and then back real fast so as soon as I throw that click that chin I click on Armadillo and then back as soon as I throw that chin I clicked on Armadillo and I'm back so I never actually hit Armadillo here as you can see I'm just throwing the chin tick manipulating where my character faces the bird and then it's back to Kalisa I don't know why if I was saying Khalifa my bad but as you can see here just very nice and steady. I cl throw, click, boom. But I never actually hit Armadillo. I'm only click. Uh, actually attacking Kalisa. I'm just tick manipulating Armadillo. All right, guys, that was my guide on Armadillo. I really hope it helps you out. Uh, this boss took me quite a while, and from my experience, I lost about a thousand two hundred chins. It was really bad. When you first go in there, don't think you're the bomb.com like I did. Go in with the 100 chins and get down that rhythm. Also, the way you angle your camera in that corner matters a lot. So make sure your angle is good to where you can click in a good rhythm. It's all about that rhythm. Boom, 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 and make sure your camera angles correctly. And that's the best I advice I have. Black chins are always better than red chins. However, you know, um, that's completely up to you. I can't deal with beak airs. So I really hope this guy this helped you out and uh, if you like this video give it give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel. I have really exciting news as I am streaming on Twitch uh, more often. I'm trying to stream once a day and like I was I was streaming when I was making this video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. My Twitch is K Jones and I've also made a Twitter account and I will post that in the link below and you're welcome to follow me. You'll get to see my in real life updates on working out, my in real live updates on school, when I'm going to go live streaming, when I've posted a video. Um, you can talk to me and tweet to me and it's going to be great one-on-one -on -one interaction with y'all so I hope y'all enjoy that and thanks for watching guys.